Shake it off. Come on. Shake it off. Shake it off. There we go. Chirps right oh my goodness. Hot stuff coming through. A chicka 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 chicka. <laughs> woo woo. Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, where we're cooking up dishes straight from recipes that crock.com that now has well over 600 recipes and rising. And one of the recipes on the site is a pizza soup. So if you like pizza and you like soup, and you always said, Man, I wish I could have pizza and soup at the same time and not look ridiculous, this is a recipe that will fix just that. This pizza soup, we went to a party a couple years ago and brought this and people absolutely loved it and said it tastes just like pizza. It's a very, a very good and we are going to make it for you today and here are the following ingredients that you will need. You need one package of sausage, we're using a mild sausage. You also need four ounces of chopped up de stem mushrooms that have been drained. You want one can of uh, diced tomatoes. This is uh, with basil, garlic, and oregano. So think of like an Italian style tomatoes. Um, one tablespoon of an Italian seasoning. and We've got an Italian herb mix. One cup of water. You also want to have um, two and a half ounces of pepperoni that has been chopped up. Or, look at what my wife found in the store. This is, it's made by Hormel. They're pepperoni minis. And what they are, and I'll show you in the little camera, look at how cute these are. They're little, little bay pepperonis, little, little bitty. You know who else likes pepperonis? Uh -oh. Aki. Aki. Oh, good boy. That'll keep him quiet for two seconds. <laughs> or and then, begging for more. Oh, yeah, that's true. He <laughs> might jump up here now. Um, you also need 14 and a half ounce can, one 14 and a half ounce can of beef broth. I did not know that my wife had bought 14 half ounce cans, so I grabbed this out of the pantry. This is 32 ounces. So I used 14 and a half ounces from the last recipe, which means that there are, let's see, 14 half ounces, 32, uh, 22, 20, 29, 18, 17 and a half ounces left in here. And I'm just going to use the rest of it because of math. Because he's a rebel. I'm a rebel. And if you want precise, honey, you should have married a mathematician, <laughs> not a food magician. Because oh. guess what? I'm gonna make magic here in a minute. Oh my god. Hot word. stuff coming at you. Oh, oh my goodness. You also need one <laughs> pepper, green, red, whatever you like, chopped up, and one onion, which I will do now, right after I skin me some sausage. Just like that. And I've got this. I'm using this in a slow cooker that has, uh, this is our crock pot that has the browning and saute feature in it. Um, the first batch that I used. I put in a skillet and brown it up. Woo, listen to that sizzle. So that would, you can't cook it like that <clears throat> in a normal slow cooker. It has to be something with a brown. You want some of the browning and saute feature? Let me uh, wash yeah. my hands real quick. And if you don't have a browning slow cooker, then just use a skillet to brown your um, sausage yep. before. And one thing I'm going to use here is we've got our different meat choppers. What, what's the actual technical term? I know Pampered Chef is the mix and chop. Yes, I think um, people call it all kinds of different things. This is Betty Crocker's version. Yeah, this that's is zing. zing. And Zing is my absolute favorite. And I really like this one, and I used this one earlier today when I cooked the sausage in the skillet. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not in this camera, but we this know. thing is just not very, not very resilient to high heat. And that's how I'm browning my sausage, and it kind of melted the ends of it. So. I don't know that that's a very cool feature. I like it because it's a star shaped, which means you get more chopping action. And of course, you know I like my meat chopped up, or as my wife says, chewed up. <laughs> but per <laughs> special request from my wife, I'm gonna use this one because she says, and in her words, it's the best. <laughs> so let's brown us up some sausage. That's my favorite. That is her favorite. It does a pretty good job. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let that brown up, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to chop up my pepper and my onion. You know, I was thinking when we were um, getting ready to make this, what would be good with it? You know what would be good with a soup instead of crackers? Bread sticks. Yes. 
I think, well, I'm going to a party tonight and bringing it. Mm -hmm. And I think somebody is um, making breadsticks. So, if by special request, one of the kiddos that's going to be there was talking about, has been talking about how she wants pizza soup. And so when I said I was bringing it, her mom was like, hey, she's been talking about that. So, um, somebody else is making breadsticks to go with the pizza soup. Mm. Yeah. You know who I think makes the best breadsticks in the world? Who? Hotbox. Y'all have Hotbox pizza around you, or is that just an Indiana thing? They taste. Are those the ones that taste more almost like a? a they're like pretzel. They're, they're garlicky. They're really doughy. Yeah, oh. they're almost they're almost pretzely. Yeah. Yeah. I love Hotbox pizza breads. Their their pizza is good too, but I bet you, I would do that. I'd swing by Hotbox on your way home. Why don't you stop by Hotbox and leave me some of that soup? Uh, and I was going to go to this party tonight, too. In fact, the whole family was. Uh, we've got a group of friends. Um, they're Chris's farm wives. And they're also fellow bloggers. And they have a big Christmas party every year. And I was going to go. I love, love, love your friends and their husbands. They're all just really good people. Down to earth, good people. Mm -hmm. But Miss Ad's feeling under the weather. I think she caught my man flu. <laughs> And we're not really sure because she's not making as big of a deal about it. <laughs> Just for that? No soup for you. <laughs> Make sure you stir this up as you can see that's starting to stick on the bottom. Yeah. Well, honey, that might camera. be part of why that melted. You need to up and down. There you go. Well, yeah, I might be part of it. <laughs> uh, no, no, up and down. Don't you ruin my tool. Because it's the best. <laughs> I'm actually going to turn that temperature way down because that's browned up a lot and even if it's not all the way done it's going to cook for a few hours so that sausage will get done but you want it browned up to get that good crispy sausage flavor in it but I'll keep chopping up my onion and one of the other reasons I'm kind of bummed really bummed actually I mean like I said I love Chris's friends they're they're wonderful people they're great bloggers um, you got the farm wife drinks, you got the farm wife cooks, you got the farm wife crafts, you got the farm wife feeds, all these different bloggers. And one of the reasons I was really looking forward to tonight <laughs> is because Leah over at Farm Wife Drinks, I know I've talked about her before, especially in the Rum Chata video. Um, she is making a peach moonshine. And she put pictures of it up as she was making it the other day. And my mouth was watering. Because I love anything peach. I have decided, um, I'm going to go officially on record now in front of all of you and say that my favorite fruit is the peach. I love strawberries. I like tomatoes, because technically they're fruit. I love strawberries. Bananas are good. If you eat them by themselves, they're nasty in the smoothie. I don't know what you people are thinking. But uh, my favorite fruit is the peach, because they're just so good and sweet. And she looked like she got a good batch of peaches for this. And... She, she's making me a batch of peach moonshine and I won't be able to get it tonight so honey if you would make sure you bring some home for me ah. and Leah I'll thank you in advance for the peach moonshine I hope there's a gallon of it in my future <laughs> that's going to last me a very long time don't worry but in the meantime I will be happy to make them this pizza soup the sausage is pretty much browned up and now comes the real hard part take all this stuff and you put it in the pot there you go so here comes my veggies right in there my onion and my green pepper it's been chopped up ah, 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 ah. my dog's coming over and I think I dropped it <laughs> he thinks you're giving him more pepperoni no 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 there was a piece of onion on the floor four ounces of mushrooms if you don't like in mushrooms there. you can leave that out yeah if you like more mushrooms, put more in. My can of diced tomatoes with basil, garlic, and oregano. Also need to turn that, I'll just turn that off like that. One tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I said we're using the Italian herb mix that we have. Yeah, and if for some reason you can't find that, that's probably my guess is oregano mixed with basil. Now this is a five ounce bag, 
of pepperoni or the pepperoni minis. I used half of it in that batch. So spot on. And if you see that, make sure you get that out of there. That's to keep it fresh. Don't don't eat these. These taste horrible. <laughs> well, they taste good for a minute and then they <laughs> taste horrible. They don't chew up well. Your cup of water. And then my cheat. I'm just going to pour in the rest of my broth. 14 and a half ounces is what you want. I'm going to have 17 and a half ounces. An extra three ounces ain't going to kill nobody. No, well, especially because we're going to mix the two pots together and I'm going to take both, uh, yeah. both, uh, cart pots. You let me know when you come back home if somebody goes, man, this is just too beefy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're going to have that problem with farmers. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, probably not. <laughs> Give me a spatula so I can stir this up. I so, use but what my point was, it's, it'll only be like an ounce and a half more in each one. Yeah, it's not so going to matter. It'll be all right. And this is going to be a lot of serving, so I don't think anybody's going to notice. And I'm also kind of scraping with my wooden spoon or my bamboo spoon the bottom of the slow cooker to kind of get them brown bits all stirred up into this. Going to add some more flavor. So notice I did not add any salt or pepper into this. There's a lot of seasoning coming from the Italian seasoning as well as the sausage itself and the beef broth has salt in it. So I'm not going to go crazy with the salt until I taste the final product and then I can see whether it needs salt or pepper or anything like that. But right there my friends, that is all you need to do for Italian, or not Italian soup, for pizza soup. Put your lid on it, and let me unplug so I can get you the final product. You want to cook this for four to six hours on low, or you could also cook it for two to three on high. Yeah. Just check it. Everything's cooked in there, but what you're doing is you're going to soften up the peppers and soften up the onions and let those flavors all kind of marry together for a while. Yeah, if you could pop that on high Ooh, so it'll be hot. ready for yeah. our party, that would be great. Plug this in back here. One thing I do like about our kitchen, there's lots of outlets. So power, and we'll go high, high, <laughs> uh, slow cook on high for, we'll put it on there for three, It'll probably work ready in a couple hours. I'm going to go grab the other slow cooker. <laughs> You're going to have to show Aunt Lou's note. So, oh, Aunt Lou was up yesterday, and we were featuring the slow cooker on our latest episode of As Good As It Gets. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Y'all watch that show? Huh? <laughs> and this slow cooker that we have has got little chalkboards. Oh, Son of a gun. <laughs> Little hot chalkboards didn't know it did that. <laughs> Don't rub it. <sighs> in every video, one time. Uh, exactly. And I don't mean to, but mm, there's little chalkboards on either side so you can actually mark on it. And if you don't mind reading what this says, honey. It says, Aunt Lou is the best sister or sister, aunt, and assistant ever. Love, Chris. So, uh, <laughs> my eyes rolled so hard I could see my brain. Yeah, you might turn it to the side oh, yeah. I wrote on. But then this is what Chris wrote. She wrote pizza, pizza soup. soup. That's the one that I'm taking yes. tonight, so that way people will know what it is. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm really digging the whole, um, uh, this is going to get steamy. Chalkboard. Ooh, look at that steam rise off of that. Yep. That is pizza soup. Ooh, it's still bubbling too. Hey, babe. Yes. But why don't you clean your station since you have raw meat? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to clean my station and myself. Get this over there. Get this out of the way. And wash my hands. All right. So, time to test out the soup. Oh, one of the other ingredients that you're going to need mozzarella cheese just to put on top because it really doesn't taste like pizza without cheese but that goes at the end so check out this soup it smells just like a deluxe pizza like a supreme pizza and if you notice the sausage in there's finely ground up <laughs> that's what happens when I'll you make know me make you it. Chewed it for them make sure that I got some mushroom in there with some broth and that's lunch Take me a good 
reasonably healthy handful of cheese. Mozzarella, whatever kind of cheese you got, whatever you want. I bet Parmesan would go good on this. Make the foods you want to eat. Make, make it with the ingredients you want to eat. Me, I like a little extra cheese. You know who else likes a little extra cheese? My dog. Oh my goodness. I know. I'm surprised that Yorkie doesn't weigh 30 pounds by now. Well, you are taking him to the vet because I try to follow her instructions and you do not. So there. Our veterinarian, um, she is a, a foreign lady. And I'll bring her in and I'll hear, your dog is too fat. <laughs> <laughs> but he's happy. But. <laughs> and he's a good dog. Cheese is all melting up. I'm going to show you that one more time. Look at that cheese just melting up in there. Before people get too uh, worried about that, I I take care of the dog. We both do. <laughs> we like to give him treats every so often. We don't go overboard with but, it. And we do follow the vet's advice despite your uh, commentary, dear. I'll get you some more cheese in there. Uh, yeah. Bit. They're going to they're gonna come after you, dear. <laughs> all right. Look at that. Let's take a bite. See how this is without salt and without pepper? I can tell you right now it's going to be hot. Hot or good? <laughs> Both. Yummy. Now, that with breadsticks yep. is going to taste just like pizza. Mm -hmm. But it's so warm. Mm -hmm. And right now it's so cold outside. I think this is the coldest that we've had yet at, um, at the end of this fall. And this is for, I could actually go outside right now. I know it's like 11 degrees out there. <laughs> <clears throat> I could go outside and get the soup and feel fine. Because this is hot stuff coming in. <laughs> but this is really, really good. Again, I don't know how else to explain it. It just tastes like pizza in a bowl. Yeah. The pepperonis, you know, and the sausage give it a little bit of that bite. You know, that Italian meat bite. Uh, the mushrooms are really strong in it. So again, if you don't like mushrooms, leave the mushrooms out. The peppers are soft, but they're not mushy. Same thing with the onions. Mm. So just like they'd be on a pizza after it's been baked. Yeah. And the tomatoes with the basil and oregano and garlic finish out the flavor to make it taste like pizza. And the tomatoes act like your pizza sauce. So. I mean, of course, you put the cheese in there like that, and the cheese is what makes it a little more chewy. And it is fantastic. This is one of my favorite soups on the site. As you can tell, because I'm still eating it. <laughs> mm. You're a little stringy there, dear. <laughs> it won't stop. <laughs> it's fun to eat, too, clearly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so you don't miss out on all that fun when you get when you're eating pizza. <laughs> put some cheese with it. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Good choice for the video today, babe. Thanks. I think it's really good. But we would like to thank you for watching another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes. If you have not become a member of the oh my oh oh my of the what of the belly, <laughs> have you not become a member of my belly <laughs> of the? Can you see it? Crock posse. Barely. I promise that's <laughs> crock posse. If you have not become a member yet, <laughs> and you say. Okay, this dude's nuts, but not enough for all just unsubscribe or not subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> Become a part of the family. Become of the ever-growing force of loving members of the Croc Posse. Also, check us out over on Facebook at Recipes That Croc, on Instagram at Recipes That Croc, and on Twitter at Recipes Croc. And y'all keep watching, and we'll keep cooking, and all will be well. I'm going back to my pizza soup. Bye, y'all. <laughs>